Hey guys, it is me, Sarah, the Traveling Button, and holy cow, um, sometimes you happen upon a fun little auction lot. Um, this was local to me, <clears throat> and I got some of the most spectacular Halloween pieces, vintage-wise, that I've ever had. Um, so I'm pretty over the moon right now with this lot of goodies. I've also got some Christmas to show you guys that I've scored recently too <clears throat> from the flea market. So um, I figured what fun it would be to just kind of go over everything and show you guys. I know I don't have a ton of video content, but I really um, love showing you guys haul videos and um, try to record picking when I can. Um, so we picked up this lot yesterday and I was afraid, it was one of those situations where I was honestly afraid that I'd spent too much on the lot. I almost felt a little guilt after I got the lot and then I got it home and have gone through everything today. This is a German with a wood tip party horn blower and it has designs all through the inside. It's just spectacular. Um, some little Hummel guys. This little man, um, the little devil pail is too cute. And look at this little kitty. Oh my gosh, the celluloid and these little pumpkin friends are blow molds. This is a little pail. Some little old fashioned um, lanterns that still have their original candy in them. The devil mask is absolutely spectacular. And then we have a kitty mask over here. Um, and this is an antique German paper lantern. These are very valuable and very beautiful lit up. Um, and then cookie cutters and look on the inside. They're all there with little designs and everything, which I just think is so neat. Um, and then there were all of these little candy containers. This little guy's lost an ear, but, um, and he's missing his back wheels, but who cares? Have you ever seen a Halloween donkey with a jack-o'-lantern? Like, just off the chain cool. And then these are like little cake topper things. I've got a little metal owl clacker. He's in rough shape. Oh, look at these. These are the tiniest itty bitty things. Just itty bitty little miniatures. And this one is so cute. It's the bitsiest little devil guy. Is that fun or what? Oh my gosh. I just love all these. So we've had a lot of fun unpacking all this. We're both just kind of grubby dirty unpacking everything. Oh, and check these lanterns out. They work. They're old metal and glass lanterns. I have never seen anything like this ever. So this was new to me. Um, and this one just needs a battery. His battery is dead, but I'm assuming he works also. Um, again, very valuable Halloween collectibles. And this one actually has on the bottom the logo and made in Japan as well. So I'm excited to see what these date to because I am unfamiliar with them. And they are glass. Can you imagine little trick-or-treaters in the 40s carrying these little spectacular glass lanterns? Like, that just blows my mind. So cool. And then, of course, this huge collection came with the Vintage Halloween Collectibles Price Guide and book, which is helpful. Certainly helpful. And just so much. There's everything from ephemera to ceramics and collectibles and so on. So just, I'm, I'm completely over the moon with this lot and actually a guide to go along with it. Um, and I already found the little German lantern right here in this book, which I thought was pretty neat too. Lots of lures and beastle. Such a cool book. So I'm definitely going to be pouring over that later. And then check out, oh my God, this is an original 
Be Good to Your Goblins Curtis Butterfinger Bar Box. Um, 40 Treats. Butterfinger is a delicious candy. A quick energy food. Yeah, all that sugar. <laughs> quick energy indeed. But um, so cool. An actual old vintage Butterfinger Halloween box. Um, which brings me, speaking of boxes, okay, that brings me to my favorite find from everything in this lot. Um, copyright 1897. Parker Brothers, Salem, Massachusetts, Black Cat, Fortune Telling Game. So this is the box. We're a little beat up, but look. Oh my goodness. Danger. The future. And then on the back of them, um, it corresponds with numbers. And these are actual fortune telling kitty cat cards. The future. Ooh, birdcage. Um, so I'm going to have to do my research. These are very, very old. I've never found anything quite so fabulous. Um, and it, it appears that the whole deck is here plus the instruction booklet as well. General advice. I love that. Oh, she's got her cattails. She's not playing. She might whip those kitties. Um, so cool. Love matters. And you can see, um, they all have then the advice and so on in the back. Your expectations are about to be realized, observed, and you may prepare in the grass wherever opportunity permitted. But although the promise was made in good, your present eliciting much admiration and blah -de blah So fortune telling black cat kitty cards, um, probably my favorite item in this entire lot. Like I seriously can't believe I scored this. Um, I've never had, like I said, such cool Halloween stuff because you know how hard it is to come by and it's always so expensive too. So typically I don't find a lot of vintage Halloween. Um, these are 1987 F&B dolls and this is the witch from the Wicked Wizard of Oz. And then look, here's the scarecrow. And these were not in the auction lot. I actually found these out thrifting yesterday, but they're so cute. I'm going to put them definitely with all of the Halloween things for sale. Um, can we just talk about this for a second? This is an old honeycomb. And this witch is on a UFO. It's hard to do with one hand, but you get the gist. Look at this. It is amazing. I cannot even believe that the witch is driving a <laughs> UFO. It's, it's beyond fabulous. I've never seen such a thing. Um, in fact, I don't know. It just says made in USA. So I'll have to research her. I'm sure she's a brand or something, but holy cow, I'd never seen her before. And then another original, I believe this is Beastle, these, um, Winkin Kitties. And then this one is Lurs. Another honeycomb. And then this textured kitty I think is beautiful. Um, textured kitty I believe is German. Looks like at one point somebody paid $17.50 for textured kitty. But yeah, really beautiful. And look at that face. So cool. And then we have this particular kitty. Kitty has claws. And um, it has the uh, little reticulated mechanical arms so you can pose her however you want her. Um, and then we've got a girly candle. Big one. I love her. And then look at her little girly candle friends. We've got Pumpkin Man, Kitty with a black pumpkin, and another little jack-o'-lantern buddy. Also found some Christmas things. Um, and that these were flea market finds. And then I'll show you, many of you had seen, I made a reel and had this little pixie ladder. And it is covered with pixies and knee huggers and little dwarves and stuff. So cute. Uh oh, this one's bending over backwards. Hey, buddy. Hang in there. Hang in there. Um, <laughs> this little guy down at the bottom. But this thing is almost as tall as I am. It's really cool. Um, and I don't know what to do with it. I, some people are like, take the elves off, sell them, leave elves on. I don't know how in the world I would ship it. It's quite large. Um, it's almost five feet tall and it's wooden. So 
<laughs> anyway, it's just super cute. I couldn't resist it. I had to snag it and to be determined what I'm going to do with all those pixies. These, I think, are adorable. David found these little guys this last week. Look at the little mushrooms with him, too. I think he's so cute. So we got little Christmas elves. Santa's looking really confused at the North Pole. I thought this was fun. It's an old, old Christmas figurine. And then I have some little Christmas guys. Here. Oh, hello. He just went tumbling headfirst into the Halloween friends. Um, so <laughs> this is a German mercury glass little astronaut. Love him. I've got a little deer. Super cute. These all had individual pricing. I paid individually for all of these. But they are so sweet. Gearing up for my Christmas inventory. Love her. Look at that face. Oh. This is a little Kreis um, single shaker. She's really cute. Merry Xmas. She's a little angel. Love her. And then we've got a little Flatsy angel friend. Another Flatsy. I love the flat ones. Another Flatsy angel. I think she's so cute. Cute. I love her little Noel book. This guy is the bee's knees. Um, he's really jingly and he's bendy. And he has jingle bell feet and jingle bell little hands. And it's just so super cute. Made in Japan. We have this little guy sitting on a bell. I just love him. So funny. Look at that little head. Santa. Oh, this little flower power birdie. I could not resist, too. I'll probably keep her. Love her. So cool. Some little angels. Spun cotton head angels. And a Santa. This guy is so funny. I collect these little elf weirdos too. I might keep him. Love the little chenille guys with those funny noses. Proboscis, yes. Um, another little flatsy. This guy's ready for action. He is with his chenille candy cane, not playing around. She's really cute. Got some new old stock, little sweet angels. And then we have this little guy, he's so fun. He is too cute. So as you can tell, um, it's been a really busy time sourcing the last few days and it's been quite a blast, honestly. We've had so much fun um, picking up these auction lots and then getting to go through them. I have another one that I'll probably do a video on that is um, Jadeite and some Van Briggle and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, Pickens been good. I'm finding other ways to source because um, I honestly don't have a lot of time to go picking. But right now I'm on vacation, so I do. So um, I love all the fun things that I have found. Um, these will eventually be coming to sales. I'm not sure. David and I might do a big Halloween sale with all of this. Um on, on one of our, our new shows, which I'll be telling you about very soon, um, on YouTube. So I'm likely probably going to be selling this all on YouTube in the next few months, gearing up for um, fall, and then we'll go from there. And then Christmas, I don't know. I know I'll definitely be doing a Christmas in July sale, and I have way more than this. I have a ton of vintage Christmas that I have collected and purchased throughout the year to bring you guys. So stay tuned for all of that and I'm going to try to get batteries in this little lantern and get him working but um yeah just a fun haul and fun to unpack fun to see it all and um I'm I'm having a hard time you guys know me I'm having a hard time not keeping it all guys I really want to keep it all but that would be like an instant hoarder Halloween collection for me um which frankly I don't need but um <laughs> Never know I might keep a few things we'll see um anywho thank you for watching my little live haul I'm excited to bring all this to you guys 
at some point, and I'm going to pour over this vintage Halloween collectible book um, so I can learn about more of this. So if you would, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, um, on this video if you don't mind and turn on notifications so if I do post more then you are able to see them and thank you for sticking with me today I'm not showing my face because I have vacation here today <laughs> with no makeup but um thank you guys for watching my video and I will see you very soon back in June